Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fighters All-Star video, I am going to talk about guilds. And as you know guys that in my previous uh, different videos, I actually published uh, videos about different guild moods and how to defeat them. But actually I find that uh, a lot of you actually are uh, pro having some problems in finding the right guild or joining the guild or leaving the guild this sort of thing so in this video guys i am going to describe all of these things in an easy way so you can actually manage your guild operations in more effectively because my friends to be honest guild is a very high highly rewarding game mood my friends and you need to play guild every single day like i do so in this video guys i'm going to talk about those things and i also will provide you a list of guilds of different categories for example guild for easy level players guild for a bit intermediate or strong level players or also guild list for a very very strong or high ranked players so there will be a list that i have actually worked kind of worked hard on this i actually posted in different facebook groups I posted in reddit and I kindly asked all those guild owners to post their guild names and uh, to be honest my friends a lot of guild owners were not really very welcoming but a number of them actually supported me and they allowed me to you know talk about their guilds uh, so that uh, you players can actually go ahead and find a place in those guilds so in this video you will be getting all those information so make sure you watch this video till the end and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already my friends so let's go and talk our uh, deal with our topic today and we need to access guild from here as you guys know that we can press on the guild and this is our guild and you will not see this screen if you are not in a guild you will see basically a screen where uh, Serena or some lady is asking for you whether to create a guild or join a guild. You will be provided with these two options my friends. But the thing is do not create a guild my friends. Do not just create a guild because there are plenty of uh, things that you need to know before creating a guild. And there is absolutely no need to create a guild because there are a ton of guilds out there where you can join and play easily and get actually more rewards than that so don't forget uh, forget just creating the guild just join the guild press on the join guild option and you will be redirected to this sort of page here where you can see a bunch of uh, guild list where you can actually use this uh, search bar web option to find a particular guild or do anything with this list which i'm going to describe a bit later but first just let's say you are already in a guild then what to do then you just go to this manage section that says press on the manage and you can actually press on the guild list here which will take you to the same search option once again and if you want to actually leave the guild then you once again press on the manage and press on leave guild and i press ok here and if it is asking that whether you are going to leave the guild if you press ok man you are done with the guild and you have left the guild which of course i am not going to do in this video my friends because there is a reason whenever you are going to leave a guild there will be a 24 hours of cooldown and for 24 hours you will not be able to join a guild or create a guild or anything my friends that is a cool cooldown that is created by netmarble i don't know what is the reason but it is what it is my friends and we have to maintain this thing so uh, make sure that you know these things before you leave a guild or decide to join a guild that there will be a 24 hours of cooldown now let's talk about the guild search option in details that you'll be provided this uh, sort of list where you can actually find a lot of guilds there's an open and there are actually a bunch of way to customize this list for example if you click on this rank option here there's a bunch of ways for by which you can actually organize this list for example if you press on the rank it will give you uh, a list of uh, you know based on ranks these guilds are based on the ranks for example the first one the second one the third one they are very top ranked guilds and that is a kind of thing that you have to know that 
as a new player or intermediate player this is kind of hard for you to get into these type of guilds because they are very very high ranked but my friends there is a solution for you my friends let me just show you just go to the rank and select join type and press ok now you see the list has been changed no longer the top ranked guilds are there but there are actually a bunch of guilds where you can actually automatically join and if you see this auto join auto join means whenever you press on this guild and you press on the join button after the 24 hours of cooldown you will be automatically joined in this guild in if there is any spot left for example this one right here as you can see there is a 50 uh, rank restriction is 50 and 48 members and i can actually join in this guild after 24 hours from now if i leave my guild right now so there will be a lot of guilds and you can actually search and there is one of the guilds i know akikaze this is a good guild uh, and i actually know this guy who is the owner of the guild he's uh, one of my friends his name is antonio and there are actually a lot of guilds which i'm going to talk about later so basically you can actually customize these uh, uh, uh you know options for, uh, for in terms of number of a member for guild members for example uh, it, this will uh, display the how uh, in terms of members and this will about the uh, restrictions some will be joined by approval some will be joined uh, this these are joining by approval for example if this this one has a slot but if you want to join this one you will need the approval from the guild moderator or guild owner he will check your account he will check your fighters whatever you, your fighter main fighter is which I'm going to talk about it later because you actually need to set your main fighter uh, in order to show off kind of because to be honest my friends uh, these uh, getting into these guilds or good guilds is not easy my friends people really want high score from you and if you can show off them their characters that you have strong BS or SS characters uh, they will actually accept you in the guild or give you a chance but if you are failed to fulfill the requirements and different guilds has different requirements depending on their levels so there's a thing that you need to set the main fighter uh, you set your strongest fighter as a main fighter just only to show off my friends this is a tricky thing but this is what we, you have to do honestly my friends because these guild owners are kind of you know gatekeepers uh, and they don't really want weak or new players to get into the guilds they are always open for strong players like for example if I leave my guild any guild would be eager to accept me because I have strong characters and I can do a strong hell lot of damage but guess what my friends even six months or seven months ago me I was struggling to join for a guild and I was like posting in a groups and forums like hey my friends is there is a guild available out there can I join any guild guess what nobody gives a crap nobody gives a crap unless you get yourself strong enough so that they are eager to accept you this is the rule my friends so rule the guild my friends rule your team make your character stronger and make them accept you that is the thing my friends so i guess now by now you already know that how to join a guild or leave a guild now let me show you how to set your main fighter as a screen just go ahead and tap on this uh, head icon here and it will show the main fighters and as you can see i have set my main fighter ignis as a leader and whenever you are going to join a guild the guild owner or guild moderator will be able to see your fighters and if you are adding top ranked fighters for example any high, highly highly leveled up fighters or any damage dealing fighters it is usual that they will be happy to welcome you that is the case my friends now i have talked uh, enough about guild joining and how tough it is now let me share some good news that i have actually found a lot of guild owners who are actually eager to accept new members if you are actually strong and of course every guild will look for strong members my friend this is the honest and brutal truth and let me share you the list of guilds that you can actually try and get into and this is this will be the first list and i'll of course uh, give the list uh, uh, you know names in the description and if i in in case any case i forget to give them in the description 
please let me know in the comments guys because i am really busy with a lot of videos these days so these are the guilds for you know beginner or intermediate players like for example if you are able to clear the hard mode or expert mode partially at least hard mode then these type of guilds will be accessible for you and look at their names and there are different they are from different countries and different uh, places for example i have actually played in different guilds as well whenever i was you know a new player uh, i played in that tenshi guild uh, a long time ago uh, so these are the guys nice guilds so next we move on to a bit higher ranked guild and these guilds will be looking forward to you know uh, things like uh, expert mood or at least uh, lunatic mood a bit if possible but at least they will look for expert mood clearing or if you have characters who can actually clear the expert mood that will be requirement of these uh, guys and feel free to pause the screen and take notes of these guild boots and go ahead and search and find that if there is any spot uh, available in there in the guilds and do your search guys do your search that will really help you and if not you will find any other guild in any ways my friends now this will be a very high ranked guild uh, that i am going to talk about and this will be a very very requirement will be very very high for example the first one is my my guild that is not mine but i play in that guild as a member and the requirement of that guild is that you have to clear the lunatic mood uh, of any guild boss that means giz howard as well and you have to do it every single day so that is their requirement so this is kind of tough for beginner or intermediate players but if you have strong characters you know you can do it my friends and also i'll be updating this list uh, once i get more guild names so once you people keep commenting on these videos that you need guilds i may just go ahead and post somewhere and maybe i collect some more guild names and add to the list and maybe add in the description section which will actually really help you a lot because i cannot edit the video again and again my friends so basically those were some guilds where you can actually join and try your luck out and I believe that many of you actually have a ton of characters, good characters, especially after this banner. And that can actually make a big difference uh, before this banner or after this banner. So maybe before this banner, many of you are actually struggling. But after this banner, a lot of you actually commenting on my videos. And I can see that many of you actually having this boss syndrome Gainis or boss syndrome Diona who are actually good enough. To clear any guilds maybe at least at up to expert mood so these two characters who uh, any of them any one of them if you are having these two characters they will give you a higher access to almost uh, any guild except the very exceptionally higher ones forget the higher ones you don't have to try about them just start with moderate and low ranks and probably just gradually work your way up forget creating a guild or just creating a own guild just to join an established already established guild and just get the maximum reward guys because playing the guild the main reason it to get, is to get those uh, you know awaken tire capsules and uh, gold imprint stone double attack imprint stone and all those useful items that is actually kind of rare in the game my friends so i guess this video will answer all of your questions regarding guild but please do not forget to ask me in the comments if you have any questions or any confusions regarding guild or any sort of game moods or anything whatsoever my friends that really helps me a lot and actually this video is a result of one of the comments that one of my subscribers actually made in my video comment section and this is the result of this video and I believe that this will help you a ton a lot of you so Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and hope to see you guys soon in some other videos. Till then stay awesome and peace out my friends.